so hello viewers welcome once again to my youtube channel and in succession to the videos what i have been taking up in psychology child psychology particularly today's video i'll be mainly focusing upon the most important from an exam perspective whether it comes to the CTET exams in the medical exams or in the dental exams or in the nursing psychology in everywhere it is very very important the first and the foremost what theory is being mostly asked it is about the psycho sexual theory which was given by Sigmund Freud. So in this video I'll be mainly talking of in a very short gist I'll be trying to explain you as to what is the psychosexual theory which was given by uh, which was given by Sigmund Freud and we'll be discussing about the most important things what needs to be understood where the MCQs can be framed. So starting with, so Sigmund Freud, this, he has given the, the psychosexual theory and this psychosexual theory is being divided into the five stages. So he has aptly divided the psychosexual theory into the five stages that is the oral stage, the anal stage, the phallic stage, the <clears throat> latency stage and the genital stage so for every stage he has mentioned about a certain the erogenous zone which is in focus the gratifying activities and the symptoms what are related to fixation so fixation are those things if the child is not getting the proper things at that particular age the there are certain habits which can lead to the fixation of that particular habit so beginning with so the first stage what was given by Sigmund Freud was the oral stage which lasts from the ages of from zero from birth to one and a half years of age now here the since the child is just a newborn he is just up till the age of 1.5 years what we can actually see is that the most important the erogenous zone and focus it's the mouth now since the child is so young he tries to keep everything into his oral cavity so the erogenous zone what is in focus it is the mouth now the child how the child is going to gratify this so everything the child is trying to gratify his these um, the requirement of his just by the process of nursing eating mouth movements we can see as well as the sucking biting and the swallowing habits slowly and gradually the child is going to interact with the environments the child's personality is controlled by basically what is called as the id which demands for immediate gratification so if the child is hungry he will cry uncontrollably incessantly just because he until and unless his hunger is being satisfied so this the oral stage it is mostly being governed by the principle of id and it demands for immediate gratification so if the child is hungry he needs immediate feeding without he's not going to understand about the external circumstances about their think that he can wait for some time or not he has absolute no such thinking process developed over here and he strives for immediate gratification of his desire so responsive nurturing is the key in the oral stage now when we look at the symptoms of oral fixation so when it comes to oral fixation it has been said by Sigmund Freud that such a children if they are not fed properly if there is improper feeding the child is malnourished he's not properly fed the symptoms of oral fixation which will further manifest in the later on life period is about that the child that that young individual when if he's not handled properly during the oral stage he may resort to smoking nail biting drinking as well as sarcasm so these are the symptoms of oral fixation which is going to happen when the child will go, grow into an individual adult so this was about the oral stage when we move on to the anal stage now Sigmund Freud has said that between the ages of 1.5 to 3 years it's another very important time <clears throat> where the child is slowly and gradually learning to exercise control over the anal sphincters so here the erogenous zone in focus is about is the 
anus. Now, the gratifying activity is C. The whatever is the erogenous, erogenous zone, since in the oral stage we found that the mouth was the erogenous zone, so the, tri the child is trying to gratify all his desires, all his require a full uh, desires just by putting everything into his mouth so when it comes to the anal stage the gratifying activities what we can see it is the bowel movements so slowly and gradually since the child is enjoying to control the ex exercising control over the anal sphincters so the gratifying activities what are seen in the anal stage it is the bowel movements and the withholding of such movements so the child is gradually enjoying, he is finding gratifying by exercising control over his anal sphincters. Slowly and gradually when it comes to the interaction with the environment, the child is the process of toilet training is there between the ages of 1.5 to 3 years in the anal stage the toilet training is being seen. Now when we look at the symptoms of anal fixation so it is according to Sigmund Freud it is a very important and a crucial milestone time where the in the anal stage which can lead to personality disorders in the future adult. Now, what do we find is, when we look at the symptoms of anal fixation, there are two types of personalities. One which is called as the anal expulsive personality and the next it is the anal retentive personality. Now, when see if the parents are properly going to handle the child, if the child has not been taught by the parents to exercise control over the anal sphincters unless he wish unless he enters the washroom unless he enters the toilet if toilet training has not been properly done by the parents so if a child is going to defecate anywhere so that leads to an anal expulsive personality and this anal expulsive personality children they will grow into such an adults which are very sloppy which are disorganized reckless careless and defiant so apart from this on the all opposite side on the contrary when if the child is exercising if the child is made to realize that he has to control his anal sphincters unless and until he reaches the toilet for defecation so such a child is going to have a personality what is called as the anal retentive personality so the anal retentive children they are very clean they are very orderly and they are intolerant to uncleanliness so the symptoms of anal fixation can manifest in for two forms that is the anal fixation anal uh, expulsive personality as well as the anal retentive personality when we move on to the phallic stage so the phallic stage is going to lie between the ages of four to five years and here when we talk of the erogenous zone and focus the erogenous zone and focus it's the genitals so here the gratifying activities what the young child is going to you know, gratify himself is during the ages of four to five years there is so much of genital fondling the child the child is going to fondle his own genitals and he will feel pleasure in it slowly and gradually when it comes to the interaction with the environment the child's feeling with of greater attachment with the parent of the opposite sex is more seen during the ages of four to five years and the most famous the oedipus and the electra complex are seen during the phallic stages of development now when we talk when we look at the symptoms of phallic fixation so men who develop the symptoms of phallic fixation they can lead to anxiety and guilty feeling about the opposite sex or they can have a feeling they can be narcissistic so during the uh, phallic stage what according to Sigmund Freud he has mentioned about the Oedipus and the Electra complex the Oedipus complex says that it is the tendency of the young boy child to being more attached to the mother than the father and when it comes to the Electra complex it is the tendency of a young girl who is more affectionate to her father than her mother. So it is during the phallic stage which lasts from 4 to 5 years of age and in the Oedipus complex the young child is trying to imitate according to Sigmund Freud he 
he has said that the young child is going to imitate his father the boy child is going to imitate his father in order to gain his mother's sexual love and similarly in electra complex according to sigmund freud he said that the girls have a comparable electra complex and in order to gain the sexual love of their father the girl the little girl tries to imitate or she is envious of her mother now we move on to the latency stage so during the latency stage of development what do we find is the age limit what proceeds is from five years to puberty now here the erogenous zone in focus is none actually and when it comes to the interaction with the environment children they are more engrossed in very many school activities since this is the school time the pre nursery and the kindergarten time so during this that is the latency stage from 5 years to puberty during this stage the children they are going to focus more of their energy on other aspects of life like culture forming playing with their classmates playing in school and there is absence there is as such no sense of sexual inclination towards them they are absolutely unaware of their sexual orientation so the children are more involved more engrossed in their energies are more focused on other aspects of life such as cult culture forming and socializing apart from this and the from the culture farming they are culture forming they are more inclined towards the beliefs and the values and developing friendship and engaging them in sports so during the latency stage which lasts from the 5 years of age to puberty the children they are more engrossed in playing with their classmates they are more engaged in sporting activities they are more engaged in developing friendship so according to sigmund freud this latency stage lasts from 5 years to puberty onwards now later on the fifth but not the last this is the fifth stage which is the last stage that is the genital stage now during the genital stage which extends from the puberty to onwards now here the erogenous zone in focus it's the genitals and the gratifying activities what is there it is about the heterosexual relationships now when we look at the interaction with the environment it is marked by the pursuit of relationships now during this stage according to sigmund freud has clearly mentioned about the genital stage which is during the puberty to onwards this pub during the pubertal stage the, their gratifying activities their interaction with the environment is more towards a pursuit of developing a relationship later on when we see that the symptoms of genital fixation so during the genital stage if the symptoms if the child is unable to resolve these so the symptoms of genital fixation can occur and the symptoms of genital fixation does not actually cause fixation if difficulty persists damage was done at the earlier stages of oral anal or phallic stages so what sigmund freud has clearly mentioned that during the genital stage there is as such no symptoms of genital fixation but if there is certain kind of a difficulty what the child is going to have during the pubertal stage that is during the gen genital stage there must have been certain kind of a damage which might be there during the earlier stages that is the oral anal and the phallic stages so students and viewers this was a very short discussion where i've tried my level best to simplify the sigmund freud's the psychosexual theory and the five stages according to sigmund freud that is the oral anal phallic latency and the genital stage students and viewers if you still have any queries or comments you're most welcome to comment me in the comment section and viewers who are new to my channel who haven't subscribed yet go do subscribe my channel and don't forget to press press the bell icon so that you can be further updated for my upcoming videos thank you for watching